Just a little dizzy, Captain. Yow! And ready to go again. Captain, the turtle eggs aren't out of danger yet. We have to get them to a new beach right away. This one is too wet. I think we may have found one, Shellington. Sending you some pictures now. Ah, it seems to have everything the turtles need. The right sand, the right slope, and the right distance from the water. Perfect. Tweak, send us the location and we'll meet there to make new nests for the eggs. Octonauts, let's do this! Ah, I think that does it. The eggs are all safely under the sand. Good work, Octonauts. Ah, I suppose there's nothing left to do now but wait for the eggs to hatch. Yeah, more waiting. I don't think we'll be waiting long, Quasi. Look. They're hatching. Oh, that's wonderful. Maybe not. Sea turtle eggs usually hatch at night when there are fewer predators around to eat them. This beach must be colder than their old beach, which is making them think it's night time. Turtles? Wow! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Ta-da! And it looks like it's in great shape. Well, that was easy. <laughs> or not. Oh, that's better. No, it's not. Something grabbed the bubble converter right out of my paw. I told you there was something in here. <laughs> Whatever it is, it has our bubble converter. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Yep, this one doesn't work. Oh, yes, of course. Octonauts, to your stations! Uh, Octonauts, are you there? Right here, Captain. Octonauts, I'm afraid this mission is taking longer than expected. There's something aboard this ship, and it's just stolen the bubble converter. Whoa! Um, is everything all right there? Um, everything's under control, Captain. Oh, and we're getting quite a workout. Oh. Hang in there. We're moving as fast as we can. Octonauts, let's split up and find that thief. I'm entering the sick bay now. No sign of the converter. Who's there? Uh, uh, hey, let me out of here, you orange. Whatever you are. I'm in the game pod, mateys. Just a volleyball. Eight balls! Who can throw eight balls at once? I've reached the launch bay. Looks like someone's been down here moving stuff around. Ink? Huh? The barrels are back. But how? Now this is scary. A library with no books. Huh, we must have left one behind. Whoa! What on earth? Captain, I saw some attack me with volleyball. Came out of nowhere. Uh, Captain, what are you doing on the floor? Uh, oh, right. Uh, something just grabbed me. We better get to the bottom of this. Come in, Shellington. We need help identifying a mysterious creature. <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What can you tell me about it? Oh. <sighs> oh, goodness me, where are my manners? You must be exhausted. Rest up, my friend. We'll look after you tonight. Thanks. I just think I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Old Howie, 
Three lobsters. Ooh. Where did they go? Ah, <sighs> tree lobsters or no tree lobsters, I'd better get back to the octopod. Hmm, looks like there's only one way down. Ahoy there, matey! Quasi, Captain! Glad to see you're all right, Peso. We found the guppy, but we've been searching for you all morning. You won't believe what happened to me last night. You can tell us all about it back at the Octopod. Climb aboard. Let's get you home. There were only 24 of them, and they all lived under this one tiny shrub. But then, when I woke up, they were gone. Yeah. Based on our location, it sounds like you washed up here on Ball's Pyramid. Strange. Ball's Pyramid has been explored many, many times and nobody's ever found any tree lobsters. I've never even heard of a tree lobster before. Peso, are you sure that maybe it wasn't all just a dream? It's not unusual to have strange dreams when you're in a dangerous situation. I don't know. Maybe it was all a dream. I believe you, matey. You, you do? I've heard enough strange tales to know there's usually a scrap of truth behind them. There's got to be something in the library about these tree lobsters of yours. Come on. Mysterious island monsters, castaway creatures, exotic beasts of land and sea. Quasi, it's been hours and we still haven't found anything about tree lobsters. Just a few more books, matey. Whoops! <gasps> a tree lobster! Ha <laughs> ha! I knew we'd find them! Listen to this! Lord Howe's Island stick insects, or tree lobsters, once lived on islands off the coast of Australia. Shiver me whiskers! It's amazing, isn't it? Unfortunately, no one has seen a living tree lobster in many years. I see one right now and it's on your head! <coughs> a baby tree lobster. I must have somehow brought one of the eggs back with me. We'd better get you back home. How do I fix it? Our ship, the Octopod, has a sick bay. I could put some medicine on your nose there, bandage it up, and make it as good as new. Dude, you're the best. Let's go! Right this way. Don't worry, Lemmy. Once your nose is all better, you won't bump into things anymore. <coughs> Thanks! OK, Lemmy. First, you need a little medicine on your nose. <laughs> that tickles! Second, you need a bandage. Whoa! Thanks! So, is that it? Can I go home now? You need to wait a little while for your nose to heal. If you go right now, you'll still get lost and bump into things. Oh, OK. But do I have to wait in here? I like it better outside. Only if you stay right outside the octopod. I'll hang out right here. And I'll be back to check on you later. Cool! Captain, I've bandaged up Lemmy's nose. As soon as it's better, he'll be able to find his way around again. Good work, Peso. Now, show me how you bandage a nose. <sighs> I'm bored. There's not much to do out here. Wouldn't hurt just to leave for a minute, but then I'll totally come right back. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll check on Lemmy. Oh, no. Where did he go? He's swimming away in a crazy zigzag pattern, really fast. Flapperty flippers. He can't tell where he's going. Captain, he could get hurt. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, 
there's a young lemon shark out there whose nose isn't working. He could get lost or hurt if we don't catch up with him right away. Peso, quasi into the guppe. Right here. Aye, aye, cat. Ah, there he is. This is a fast one, that's for sure. Whoa. Heading that way. Oops, sorry. Watch out. Huh. This one looks very healthy. I'll put it with the other red ones. Ah! Jumping jellyfish. <laughs> Tag, you're it! <laughs> oh, my! There you go, Peso. Thanks, Tweak. Steady, steady. What you do? Lappity flippers! <laughs> cool! You want to play catch? That's one of our favourite games. Here, catch. Whoa, careful with that. Sorry, dolphins, but we've got work to do. Maybe some other time. Oh, there's got to be someone who wants to play with us. Come on. We've been working for hours and we still have so much more to do. At the speed we're going, it could take days to finish. And these dolphins aren't making things any easier. Barnacles to Shellington. These dolphins won't leave us alone. Why are they acting like this? It's normal dolphin behavior, Captain. Dolphins are curious creatures. They... Ooh, what's this? They love to play with each other. And make up new games. <laughs> hey, everybody, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a sponge on my nose! <laughs> sponge nose, sponge nose! Sponge nose, sponge nose! Hmm, <laughs> 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 fair! <laughs> oh, this is starting to get out of hand. Attention, dolphins! We have very important work to do. If you could please just play! <laughs> Bet you can't catch me! Oh, enough is enough. Huh? Uh, oh! Whoa! Uh, easy now! I just want to, um... See how long you can hold on! Hey! Whoa! Shark, straight ahead! <laughs> nice catch! Thanks. Are you okay? Yep. Thanks for the warning back there. So, what should we play now? Sorry, but playtime is over. We octonauts are trying to save the coral reef. I need to get back there. We just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. This is the spider! Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our guff? 
Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz with me alive. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch. no! It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. Doesn't that sound great? Well, pirates usually have parrots as sidekicks, not parrot fish. Well, I've got a beak like a parrot, but I'm even better than a parrot. Look, I can change me colours. Wow. Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. Uh, and parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then, but we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey. So you'll have to keep up. Whoa, my first day is a trusty pirate sidekick. Uh, and I get to search for treasure. <laughs> Let's go, parrotfish Pete. <laughs> What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. Ahoy, mateys! Arrgh! This reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that! And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye! Mora eels! These waters are full of them, matey! And look at their sharp teeth. Ah! Oh, but we have to get past them to find the treasure! How are we going to do that? I can get us past them, me hearties. How? Moray eels like to eat parrotfish, but we have a way of protecting ourselves from them. Ah! First, I cover myself in a bubble. Ah! The eels can't see very well. And this bubble makes it so they can't smell me either. Which means they leave you alone. Very clever. That might be fine for you, but we can't make bubbles, me hearty. Oh, I'll make them for you. Octonauts, let's do this. <gasps> oh, no. The eels can smell peso. Peso! This way. Quick! 
Quick, in there. Quasi, bubble block. It worked. They can't smell peso anymore. <laughs> 